Okay. All right. So this is something too uh, that I wanted to get into. Like, so what is a healthy smell? And I know it, you know, it'll vary and things like that. However, like from what, from your experience, what is a healthy smell? And when would, when should women get concerned? You know? Yes. So vagina doesn't smell like roses, right? Like every vagina has its own like pheromones and odor. Like really we should be embracing that. It shouldn't take more than water to get that clean. And if there's a little bit of imbalance, you can like, use a gentle soap and like get it cleaned up but you shouldn't have to do a lot to keep it clean now when you should be concerned is if you have like discharge that looks like cottage cheese itchy um or if you have a fishy odor internally and if it gets worse after sex those are conditions like bv and yeast which a lot of times we can have because our partners eat like trash and we're letting them climb back inside of us and they have like acidic semen and so these are the reasons that we sometimes see reoccurring things, but also it could be like washing with too much soap and douching. Like those things cause your pH balance to kind of go off. And so it should smell like your pheromones. Like if you went to the gym and sweated maybe a little bit of that kind of smell, but it shouldn't be like a fishy odor. It shouldn't be itchy down there. Like you shouldn't be experiencing anything like that. And if you are, you don't necessarily have to go to antibiotics to, to take care of those things. Um, if you go to my you to my Facebook page, you'll see like if you scroll a little bit down, there's a video about how to take care of BV and yeast with boric acid suppository. So you have options um, because what we see with antibiotics is that it's kind of like a cycle of like get rid of the yeast infection, get BV from antibiotics, and then you get rid of BV, and then you get a yeast infection because of antibiotics. So that kind of knocks that out. Whoa. Okay. So it's like I did. Okay. I never. I never even knew that 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 type of thing that correlation was going on so wait you said go to the doctor and get wet and then get it'll give you bb so you go to the doctor to take care of a yeast infection and you get antibiotics and it knocks out the yeast infection but you get bb and then you get medicine for bb and it knocks out the bb but you get a yeast infection so because it's essentially wiping out all of your good and bad bacteria which we don't we don't want yeah yeah all right so we have someone say can we talk texture when my period is waning, my cycle comes out brown in a different texture. No odor, not a white discharge texture. Is that normal? Yeah, that's normal for you. Um, there is work that you can do to make that change, and steaming is one of them. If you start your cycle and it's bleeding brown or dark brown, that just means you have a lot of stagnation in your womb that you need to move. And so I would just ask you, like, how are you taking care of yourself on your cycle? Are you eating cold things, junk food while you're menstruating? Are you, like, intentional about, like, eating pho and soup and drinking teas and, like, keeping your body in a warm space? Also, um, what, what products are you using to care for your womb during your cycle? Are you still using tampons that are um, causing stagnation? Are you using other things that might have chemicals? Do you have a regular steam regimen? All of those things are things that we can consider with a cycle like that. Mm, nice. Okay.